What's happening team? We got some fun news for all of you Bigfoot lovers out there. Now, before we tell you about this very realistic evidence that Bigfoot exists, we want to know if you believe in Bigfoot. Either way, tell us why you do or don't and stick around to the end of the video where Charles and I will be responding to some of your comments or questions from previous videos. But I have a question for you Charles, do you believe in Bigfoot? Do I believe in Bigfoot? I mean, I've never seen him personally. So I can't say 100% that he exists, but who is to say he isn't out there somewhere, you know, hanging just, around? I don't think there's enough evidence to prove it, but like you mentioned before, you've never seen a million dollars, but doesn't mean it doesn't exist, right? So I think the only way to prove that is, guys, if you want to send us as much money as you have, yeah. mm -hmm. until we reach that million dollar plateau, and then we'll be able to actually prove that a million dollars exists, because until I see it, there's no proof. In a video uploaded to YouTube yesterday titled Hidden Camera, live streams, best ever footage of Bigfoot, you can clearly see a brown humanoid type fish you're walking through the forest. Could it really be Bigfoot? Well, it's hard to tell because for some reason the quality of the video looks like it was taken in the Stone Ages and the figure kind of looks like a man in a gorilla suit. Scientists have denied the myth of Bigfoot for hundreds of years now. And although there have been multiple claims and videos showing a creature that people think may be Bigfoot, there has never been actual hard concrete evidence. On top of that, after doing our research, we actually found out that this video uploaded was actually a clip from an even longer video that was posted to YouTube back in 2007. Roger Patterson Bigfoot footage has already surpassed 1.2 million views since being posted and shows a shaky camera walking through the forest before spotting the creature. Although there are hundreds of thousands of people worldwide that believe in Bigfoot, I personally don't think there's enough evidence to really prove it. There are reports that it lives in the United States or Canada, mostly in the Pacific Northwest, and tends to reside in mountains or the forest. So there have been so many different claims of people saying Bigfoot has been filmed in different parts of the world. But people have also purposely faked a sight in a Bigfoot to get some sort of compensation, whether it possibly be fame or money or even YouTube views. What's really interesting to me is that the camera starts to get super shaky around the time that you start to see the Bigfoot. And it seems that that's the case in every video that captures Bigfoot on film. Either that or the quality of the video itself is horrible. Yeah. You know, that's actually really interesting. But I mean, it makes sense, right? In this day and age, with the types of cameras our phones have, the only possible reason that the camera footage of Bigfoot is awful is obviously because he has the powers to control technology. I mean, have you have you seen Stranger Things? Yeah, it makes sense. Right? Oh, now we, now I get big. Cool. So yeah, you know how in Stranger Things there's that that thing that no one really knows what it is, but it controls technology like lights and stuff. Got ya. Yeah, that's it. I think that's. that's it. I think that's what. Yeah, I think. Oh, so idea. Bigfoot is actually in Stranger Things as well. Then that's. That must well, he's be like it. he's like he's like a product of an experiment gone wrong. He's like the real life Stranger Things. Ah, oh. you know it's interesting, but maybe he just doesn't exist. Nah, now you're talking like a crazy person. You're right. <laughs> Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the footage of Bigfoot if you're interested. But now we're going to be answering some of your comments from a previous video. So in an IO Trends video titled, Stranger Tries to Kiss Kim Kardashian's Butt in Public, you guys left a lot of comments to reply to. They're going to answer them. So, lol asked, do you like motorbikes? I'll let you go first, do you like motorbikes? Motorbikes, yeah man, they're cool. I mean, I've never actually ridden on a motorbike. So, Seriously? Like, don't like, hate how do you mean, like a dirt bike, bike or anything? I've been on like quad bikes and dirt bikes. Oh, actually, I have been on a, yeah, my friend had a cross, cross like a dirt bike on his farm. That was good fun. Yeah, they're cool, what about you? I've been on, yeah, my buddy has a farm, I've been on dirt bikes. Uh, I've, I don't think I've ever been on a motorcycle. I kind of want a motorcycle, just because I think it'd be really cool to drive on a motorcycle. Like, yeah, obviously man, I think it, it's kind of Getting a motorcycle is like immediate cool points. It is, no, like seriously, like it's like just, who isn't cool on a motorcycle? Jessica Plays MC asked us, Dude, what's wrong with this guy? Obviously referring to the celebrity prankster Vitaly Sediak, who actually kissed Kim Kardashian's butt before being tackled by security. Or maybe she was referring to me. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Either way, I'm not really sure. I think he's just a sicko. Like, some people were commenting saying, like, he wants fame. He's just trying to get famous by doing that. There's something wrong with him. I definitely think he's not normal because, like, he put his face in, like, Leonardo DiCaprio and Bradley Cooper's junk. What? <laughs> yeah, like he's just, I get it, it's like funny, but like it, there's a point where it's like, okay, it's a funny prank and like it's sexual harassment. How do you, you know tell people I mean? what your job is? It's like, yeah man, I just go around and like putting my face near famous people's butts and junk, like. You know what I mean? Like it's like. You can't write home to mom about it, can you? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know how he makes money, like he like, makes money off the YouTube views. Poor guy, that's all I have to say. Yeah, poor, there's definitely something wrong with him, but uh, <laughs> anyways guys, that ends it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. You gotta drop us a comment down below so we can answer your questions in the next video, but we'll see you soon. And uh, if Bigfoot ever tries to come after us, well, this is what he's gonna have to face.